This time around we have two products of the same category. They're both pen drives, one from HP, the other from Samsung. They're both 32 gig, both USB 3.0 and both compatible with USB 2.0. Let's look at the Samsung a little bit closer. Water resistant, shock proof, magnet proof, temperature proof, x-ray proof. Okay. Okay. Let's look at the HP. Any interesting information? Out of the box, it seems the Samsung pen drive is waterproof. We're not going to test if it's waterproof, but apparently it is. Okay. Let me get, where's my knife? Okay. Let's open the HP. Let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. Seems like I don't need a knife for the HP. It just opens seamlessly. Let's get this thing out. Get this out of the way. Okay. Look at it a bit closer later on. Let's also open the Samsung. This one requires a scissors or a knife. Always be careful when you're using knife or scissors or anything sharp. Very, very dangerous. Okay. okay. Let's get it out. All right. Cute. Okay. Mm, USB 32, USB 3. I think that's about it. I'm not sure about this water resistant thing they're claiming. And I uh, wouldn't want to test it. Interesting uh, design. Back to the HP. 32 gig. A little branding. Both together, Samsung, HP. So let's look at the design. So for the HP, it's it's designed such that it, it actually springs out. It springs out. So initially I thought it was like a screw, but actually it just springs out. So you can use this in uh, hooking it up on your gym bag on a zipper but you have to be careful this section it doesn't lock fully so whatever you lock it on if if it, if it's if you're not too careful it's possible it might slip out possible now for the samsung there's an ample space for you to attach a key ring to it and uh you're good to go just that taking it off from the key ring will not be snappy unless you have an external locking mechanism such as this at on hand where it's maybe some some keychains come with some uh, locking mechanism such as this in that case you can just lock it in and unlock it in and you're good to go uh, okay, so we're just going to test if actually it's uh, 32 gig. You know, some of these things, unfortunately, you can buy it. It will stay 32 gig, but once you plug it in, you probably have just 16 gig or 8 gig. Sometimes if you're that unlucky, it can even be a 4 gig masquerading as a 32 gig. We will test the speed. Transfer speed 130 MB per second. HP there is no indication concerning the transfer speed. So it'll be interesting to know, um, just quickly on the side, you can see here the visual representation of how we use it. You plug it into a USB port. When you're done, you remove it. You can clip it onto a zipper a bag, a zipper bag. So that's the intention of the design. So back to the speed, it's not captured here. So we'll first test whether this actually can run up to 130 MBS. 
and find out what speed the HP runs at and to confirm whether it's faster than the Samsung or the same or slower. So that is going to be the test we're going to conduct on these two devices. We will first test the Samsung. So we're able to pick the Samsung. It's captured 32 gig. Let's run a test. Sadly enough, it's not picking. Let me try the uh, HP. Run. Refreshing device is done. Okay. It's okay. The tool is able to pick the HP drive. Benchmark D. Okay. It's doing the read speed. So average read speed is 16.42 MBS. For 8 meg, it was averaging uh, for write speed 1.4 meg per second for write speed and for read speed 16.45 meg per second. Not to waste too much time, but so far it seems for write speed is averaging 1.4 1.5 meg per second and for read speed it's averaging 16 16.4 meg per second we can stop here for the hp let's put the samsung back in let's hope uh, i'm able to pick it this time around refresh still let me see if I can find a different app that will be able to pick the Samsung we have another app speed test okay D start the test so the test shows 12 meg per second right 29 meg per second read let's try it again again this is the Samsung this is a Samsung flash drive okay so the right speed is 12 let's test the HP and see if we're getting the same value as we did with the previous um, let's see mass storage okay um, speed test okay first we're getting zero again less than one meg for right and the read we're getting up we're getting 17 meg so let's try it again this time we're getting about 1.2 for right let's see what we get for read 17 okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to dump some huge files onto them this is about 29 gig it's 11:39 am okay so let's wait and see so this is the hp 29 gig of files 1139 let's go yes uh we're back it's still uh it's still copying the files to the hp drive it's, uh, it's quite slow but as you can see it, it is loading it is loading but it's not it's not as fast as we would like we've loaded about a 1.6 gig and it's 1158 <clears throat> 1158 it's about 20 minutes one gig it's, it's quite slow let me check the hp and put in the uh, samsung we're pasting the same 
amount of data let's see if it goes if it moves a little bit faster on the samsung it's 12 pm the transfer speed on the samsung seems to be quicker already we are two percent this is just like one minute it's 1201 we're already two percent so <clears throat> 3%. Clearly the Samsung transfer speed is faster yeah, 4%. It's faster than that of the HP. So if you're going to go out and buy um, a USB a, a flash drive and you have the option of, of the Samsung or the HP both 32 gig I would advise you go for the Samsung. This is 12.02 p.m. and we're already at 5. So 2 minutes, we're already at 5%. All right, let me format let me format the Samsung. Format complete. Let me eject. Save to remove. Let me slot in the HP. Let me format the HP. Quick format. See, look, even the formatting, the quick formatting is slow on the HP. Finally, format complete. Okay, it could be it had about nine, it had more data on it. So let me just put that, that statement aside. All right, now that it's empty, let me just format it again and see if, it, if it's because of the data on it. There's no data, I'm formatting it. Look, look how long it takes. Okay, we're back. So you've seen the test, the results are clear. The Samsung flash drive has faster transfer speed than the HP. We, we, looked, at, we looked at it on the benchmark, but the benchmark uh, was a little bit tricky. So we decided to just load about 29 gig of data on them just to see how fast they load. The Samsung was the winner. Within a couple of minutes, we're already reaching uh, six, 7% whilst two minutes three minutes we're not even getting one percent from the hp and uh we just couldn't continue because it was taking too long that's our review for these two products so the winner is the samsung if you're going to get one of these i will advise you go for the samsung simple as that because of the transfer speed thank you and we'll see you soon